Simple experiment you can try at home using easy to find materials. Uh, we're using balloons, pennies, hex nuts. Isaac Newton would be proud because we're doing Newton's first law of motion. The tendency of an object to stay in motion until a force acts upon it. I'm gonna use this clear balloon here and a penny. So here's what you're gonna do. Take the penny and drop the penny into the balloon. Now I like these clear balloons because you can actually see what's going on. <sighs> Blow it up like this. And now here's what you challenge people. It seems like it's hard, but it's not. Challenge your friends to somehow get the penny to get up on its edge like this, balance, and fling itself around the balloon. Seems like it's impossible. You're gonna do the whole thing by simply doing this. Your hand goes around the balloon like this, shake the balloon, and then spin. <gasps> That's all you need, watch. There is centripetal motion in action. The tendency of an object to stay in motion, in orbit right there, look at that. It's a center-seeking force, kind of like the moon going around the earth, earth going around the sun. Look at what's slowing it down in there. Can you see that? Gravity slows it down, and of course, a little bit of friction, but you can speed it back up again. <gasps> what a great way to be able to examine this motion here. But I know what you're thinking. Could you make some sound? Because who doesn't like that? So get yourself another balloon, and this time we're gonna put a hex nut in the balloon. So there's the hex nut in the balloon. I blew up this one already. So now a hex nut has edges that are not perfectly smooth, so it's gonna vibrate. Listen to this. Listen to that. That's the toy you want the kids to have in the back of the car on the long road trip. It's the screaming balloon. But just when you thought we were done, we're not, because anything worth doing is worth overdoing. It's amazing what you can find online nowadays. A three foot diameter balloon, good, and you, then you only have to spend a lot of money for the little uh, uh, blow over here like this. There we go. And now, I'm Steve Spangler, and that was your Science Minute.